Howdy! How's all my friends out there in YouTube land? I hope this broadcast finds you healthy and happy and about to celebrate the new year. I myself still have this horrible cold thing going on. And uh, with any luck at all, it'll be over in the next week. I feel like my poor little eyeballs are about ready to pop right out of my head. But I am tired of laying around. So I decided that I'd get up and try to do something creative. I think that that is the best medicine. So I got out my oil crayons and uh, I had some as vellum that I cut up that I've been working on with the other paints and the other episodes that I've done for you the last couple of days. So I, I went to playing with this a little bit and um, I like this. I thought, well, you know, this is something I could show here on a video on how I, I'm doing this, but it, this is just vellum. Uh, you buy this by the pack. I think I got mine from Amazon, but you can get it most any place where they sell uh, scrapbooking stuff or card making things and uh, art supplies. Uh, it's vellum and it it's kind of a, oh, I don't know, opaque, I guess you'd call it. You know, you can't see quite through it. Um, kind of got a little white frosted cast to it is what vellum is but um, it's kind of a plasticky type paper and I just took my oil crayons and went to dabbling around and, and mixing stuff um, here's what these things look like uh, they're artist paint sticks solid paint sticks and they have like a film on the crayon itself that you have to peel off of there before you can use them and then when you get done using them you got to put them like in a ziploc or something or they will dry out um but i got a whole pack of these a while back um and i don't even remember where exactly i got them from i'm thinking that i probably got these off of um wellburn gourd farms when i placed an order with them uh, they're really good for painting on gourds with. You can paint most anything with them. And uh, you just blend the colors together to get different effects. But I'm going to show you here. Do a little design um, with them. A little painting. And I'm, I kind of blend them. We'll get some sky going here on this one. And I just put a little of this down on the... On the vellum and I try to get it to the edges these will probably be used for green cards although they could probably be framed if that's what you wanted to do I'll just put a little one color down and then I go over it with another color and then I come in with a q-tip and blend them and you just rub And that blends the colors together. You might see there's a little green in there that picked up from where I peeled one of them. They're on my desk. Got stuck to the tip of one of those blues, I guess. So I'll put it in there, but that's not really going to matter because we're going to put some other colors in there on it. Keep blending. I think we're going to try to do some kind of a sunset on this. So we're going to want to put a little yellow in there. And I'm going to want to put a little orange. And maybe a little of this kind of coppery color in there and again I'm gonna blend the fire out of it most of my paintings tend to be kind of impressionistic nothing real defined And we'll come on down with a little more 
little more sky. Yep, need to peel it a little bit more, I think. Take a little more skin off of it. There we go. Let's put some out there. And just blend it. And I like to blend along the edges of it, bring it clear to the edge. Kind of make this look like water down here. But maybe you're sitting along the beach and watching the sunset. Along the lake. And maybe we want to put in some rocks here along the side of it. This one needs peeled. Now I'll show you. You just take your knife and just peel the skin off the tip of it there. Get enough so that you can get it down on the paper that you're trying to do it on. And there's some rocks in here a little bit along the water. And we put us a little beach in there maybe. Maybe we'll come in with a little bit of this color, this little gold. And along with that gold, we'll put a little white, make it look like some sand. Blend that. Soften it up along there. And maybe we need some more rocks over here on this side to kind of even it out a little bit. Take my finger, kind of rub that around a little bit. If you found you wanted to define that anymore, you can always come back in, maybe make some lines on it to define them. You can do the same thing over on this side. And there you have a little beach scene. So that's how I paint with these oil crayons or uh, oil sticks or what are they calling them here? Artist paint sticks and the oils. Um, a lot of fun to play with. And 
You can always stamp right over top of that with whatever you want to sentiment. Do you want to stamp on it or a design or whatever you want to do? And I'll probably be making some cards later on this week or over the weekend and show you how I use all this stuff up. But uh, there's three on vellum. I've got a little sea scene, a, a mountain scene, and I got a little, uh, I guess you call that a park scene with some trees and some flowers. So that's how I do that. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it on your social media so everybody gets to learn how to be creative. And uh, don't forget to leave some comments for me. Let me know what you think of, of the painting or if there's something else that you'd like for me to show. I do all kinds of crafts and uh, I'll probably be doing some wood burning and some engraving and uh, making the cards and some gourd work and um, a lot of different things that we'll be doing. And after verse of the year, I'll, I'll get some looms in here. I'll show you how I work with the looms and um, we'll do a little weaving. So there you have that. Um, I do have a, an Etsy store. The URL for it is in the description of this video and there is a uh, link on the banner of my channel. You can click on It'll take you to my Etsy store if you want to see um, the soap and the oils and some of the jewelry and dream catchers and things that I make. And um, there's also a PayPal button if you feel so inclined that you would like to donate. That is there for your convenience. It's not necessary, but um, if you feel so inclined, there it is for you. And uh, I think that's all I had to bring to you today. So just remember, Brenda's crafty. Be like Brenda. Bye.